Hello everybody and welcome to the tutorial for Mega Man Zex beginner mode or uh, easy mode uh, tutorial for beginners. Um, so first thing you want to do is uh, after selecting uh, I think so after selecting easy mode, selecting character Van is actually a couple of seconds slower because he crawls slower. Uh, he does have less hit back, uh, so when he gets hit, he falls backwards uh, fewer distance. But um, yeah, Ale crawls faster, and ultimately you can use her uh, getting hit hit further uh, to your advantage as well. So she is the faster character, and she might also climb ladders faster. Faster, but I'm not 100% that. Anyways, let's get underway with uh, the basics of movement. Um, dash. Uh, place on the L button, uh, jumping on B, holding down the Y button, uh, allows you to charge button, same goes for R. You can see in the menu um, what, what kind of weapon have, what kind of weapon the model has, if it only has one weapon, both the main and the sub weapon buttons uh, trigger the same uh, effect. Uh, there's some wall jumping, uh, you can also dash wall jump and if you attack, this is a new feature in this game, if you attack and wall jump you can actually cancel, let's call it wall cancelling. Uh, as opposed to this, you can do this. So I will be playing on emulator, so uh, my, my gameplay might not be uh, as good as it normally is, but uh, it's mostly to show uh, show you what's, what you can do. Uh, so easy mode, uh, you do four times the normal damage. Um, so you don't, like normal, you would charge shots here, which you can still do for comfort, but you can just kill everything with one regular shot as well. Which is, is it's just a really fun run. You don't have to focus as much as my boss battles. You can just learn the stages, and it's a really uh, nice and comfortable way um, to get used to these games. As well as it just being um, a really fun category on its own. Okay, so let's. You press start there to skip cutscenes. You have to beat the game once to skip the cutscenes, or have to see them once. I'll show the boss battle first and then I'll explain it. Release. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so what you want to do is jump and release and press shooting. And stand around here and do double charge shots. But if you're a little too slow, like I'm being here, uh, you'll miss out on the quick kill. So, I hope I get it this time. So, you want to get a feel for when you ah there we go so let's let's do that again but slow down a bit so you jump release turn around wait for the yellow to start a bit then before the orbs appear for the second level of the charge shot jump and shoot then as before as you turn yellow um, you wanna uh, before you turn yellow on the fourth charge shot you wanna bump into the boss oh, wait. So here you want to, well, as you turn yellow is also uh, doable. And that's basically this fight. Uh, if he goes off screen, you lose a lot of time. Uh, so this is the, it's a pretty easy boss, you know, being the first boss. Um, but I really recommend learning this skill because it's really easy. Uh, the trick here is um, the first, like the RNG will be changed if you hit uh, the parts of the body that deflect the bullets. So, um, yeah. Okay, again, after the boss explosion ends and in uh, rooms where you enter, you can press start uh, if cutscene starts and just skip it. So here, um, like do play the Japanese version, uh, it saves a little bit of time. You can also play on the English version at first you just to get uh, used to the text and everything, but uh, for speed it's definitely recommended to play on the Japanese version. So you press, uh, you select no, which you have to press the A button for. And then after, like after this mission uh, message, which you can, by the way, speed up by pressing B, you or, or A, uh, press B again, and then immediately press start. Like you didn't even s see the next text box, text box pop up, which is the ideal scenario for, um, uh, which is, which is what you want to. Oh, whoops! Oh, I guess we're fighting this guy again. Okay, um, let's save this time. Okay. 
Um, but due to the location of where the start button is, often you'll see the second text window uh, pop up. Uh, okay, so here you have uh, two choices, but um, the fastest choice is to go to uh, Guardian's Test, um, which is the, m the the least fun mission in the game. It's kind of a tutorial. So here, there's a way to jump off this giraffe instantaneously, but um, I, I I can only do it on the S so many of the time, and it's not a big time save. You can just do a wall cancel off of here. And then just keep the charge going to kill those guys. You can also just rapid them while you dash. It, it's an easy mode. You can be uh, yeah fairly. Uh, there's some lenience in attacking. So here you skip the cutscene and try to chain dash jumps. That's that's really important. Uh, like if you dash like this, you'll lose frames to the dash ending and starting. There is a way to uh, dash and then do a command dash, which is double tapping, and you can if you time it well, it's but it's too assisted like uh, to work so it's better just to dash as you land okay so here there's let's see what the spot is okay, I, okay so this this purple line if Mega Man's aligned uh, against it uh, should work for this guy to talk you don't have to be pixel perfect like there's some room around uh, here like this 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 entire area is where you can uh, be and talk to this guy. You can actually be on this side too, of course, uh, if you would come from this side, which you don't. And you can also stand inside him. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, so you just mash A and B to get through that talking. And here for doors, it's uh, around the side, like the, the, the left side of Mega Man's helmet is uh, around ideal, I think. Okay, a little, a little after that. So here you can just do one full dash jump or uh, like this and make it or you can do uh, I think the limit is here yeah this this is the the furthest left you can be but I usually do a full dash jump and end around and up around about here uh, and that's all fine like I'm probably going a little more in depth here than I need to this being a beginner tutorial so here I do a full dun 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 dash, and at the end of the dash I walk here. So uh, because oh this is an interesting thing, there. like if you walk against the wall, or if you dash against the wall, can you see? Like there's there's a difference. So and then you transform into AO to. Okay, so here like you can talk anywhere around here, but there's a neat little trick I want to talk about, and that's as soon as a hit bo uh, as soon as the text box here goes up, you can. Uh, already start moving and uh, characters that start walking movement actually have a couple of frames startup so if you jump during that time uh, yeah, it will move faster let's see if I can I can show that difference okay I can't that's that's okay I can't I can't show it that's that's a shame yeah, that's a little. That's 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 kind of stuff that on the DS works most for me. Uh, works for me most of the time. Oh wait, this is also, um, but on the emulator. Okay, so here, um, like I use a Q. To and the Q is Ale's foot on the left or on the right there. So as soon as the yellow part reaches it, reaches the the ledge, basically, is when I press X. So here, transform, and you can just press L and B. Uh, and you'll be far enough from the wall to still do a wall kick, which is faster than landing and then starting a dash. Um, funny uh, thing is that if you dash against the wall, it'll set you up for the max distance. Let's see if I see like dashing against the wall will set you up at the maximum distance you can be away from a wall and still do a um, a wall dash uh, or a wall jump. And you can just go on dashing uh, like normal. So for this next part, there are a couple of options. You can just dash here. You can dash up here too if you want. It's it's, it's pretty basic. Uh, I recommend building up a charge shot here uh, for this room. Uh, you don't have to kill these enemies, but uh, what I do is I do a dash jump and then oh, okay maybe not like that. Now this is around the max uh, distance you can be. 
uh, in transformation because if you don't oh wait like I was even wrong okay wait if I change does it does it okay so that that's a, no that's that's a good showcase because now I can at least show you what happens if you get too close so I think that this is around here like usually the metal drops um, drops something and that's what I use as an indication so I'll try to uh, try it again I want to save before I enter the door so I don't mess it up again. So, check you now. Two. Ah, no drops. Okay, well, around here. So, maybe before this this black thingy down there, like here, uh, is, is what be, can be used for an indication. Let's look at where exactly the guy turns up and is up. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, this this is the, the max distance. Okay. Like I've never, I've never tested a lot of these things. Uh, okay, that was a little early, but for now we'll just do this. And I don't know who tested. I think Flameburger tested that it was one second faster to not transform back into Model X here. Uh, and, and every um, screen that starts, if you start jumping on the first frame, it'll be a little bit faster. But it's not something um, that's absolutely required. It's more of a touch-up thing. So I'm going to show you some uh, advanced strats while I'm going through these areas anyway because I really like these strats. So here's another one. If you uh, manage to time it out, you can... Let's see if I actually can get it here. Okay, I probably can't. Okay, you can't, like... Wait, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. So if you're just... Like, it's very, very, very... The positioning is very... Like that. That's a little bit faster than doing this, but it's it's a lot harder um, because it's, it's fairly specific um, placement, and you don't know if you uh, line out your dash jumping, uh, like if it works out with your dash jumps there. So it's not a trick you have to go for; it's just a trick you can go for. I don't because I can't do it consistently on DS even so. So if you talk to if you don't talk to one of these guys, the next guy in line won't be there. So it's important to talk to all these guys in the order that I just showed you, and uh, then talk to this guy, which will end the mission. And the reason uh, why we do this mission in this order is because this will set you up for a fast entry into area uh, B, which is where we're going now. Uh, this next section is really easy. I probably don't have to explain anything, so I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna use charge shots. I think I usually do, but you don't have to use charge shots here. You just fall down here, and you can. After you pass this, you can start pressing right. Once you enter this area, press start to skip the cutscene. And on normal mode, you'd be charging shots here, but this is easy, so you can just relax. Do some dash jumps, you know, do whatever. Collect that chip. You only need to collect one chip. There are like five or six in this area. But, um, yeah, you don't really need them. So you can actually, oh, you can, you don't, you usually don't get hit by that, but whatever. Um, like if you're fast enough with the wall cancel, you can just uh, go through unscathed. Okay, so here I uh, look at the right foot of Mega Man to look like this. Uh, let's actually take, take a look at that for a moment. Uh, um, so around here, I like I look it to be kind of an S shape, um, yeah, or you can use other cues, but this is a cue. I, and, and if I see this pixel, then I usually know that I'm uh, correctly aligned. Uh, now for the next step, this is this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, it's very easy to three cycle this boss on easy. Um, so I'll just I'll just make a save. And um, the first cue you want to look for is after they drop he drops the containers here. And look at this corner of the airplane. As soon as it starts moving lazily to the left, a little after it moves, so you have a, a very liberal uh, cue. So like when it starts moving, you don't have to be really tight. Like if, if you see it move, you can shoot it and the, the pink parts of your charge shot will deflect off the container into the boss. So let's look at that. So you don't really have the time uh, at all. If you get hit, you just have to repos reposition yourself a little bit. I don't know if I'm doing this. Okay, so shoot the container once, jump, and after the height of your full jump, uh, shoot again. Okay, that wasn't... 
Okay, this is already better. So you just wait. Oh, that wasn't it either. That happens if you're too early, so don't do that. It's better to be a little too late than too early, I guess. Okay, let's wait. Let's let's make it more decent save states, so I don't have to do that 100 times in a row. Why? Okay, wait. Oh, hold the button, thank you. Yeah, that was it. So it's a little after the peak of your jump, and now the last charge shot won't matter. There is a setup for this, in which you can deflect the shot. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, you see. I don't know if you saw it, but like the the shot deflected uh, upward, and if you hit the container at the right spot, uh, yeah, it will go upward. After as soon. Oh, this maybe, but you don't have to do that. So. You want to hit this one as fast as you can, then press start as soon as the Mega Man lands, lands on the floor. Oh wait, that was a little too greedy. And after that, uh, the mission's done, and you're basically oh, cursor's on screen. That's not, that's not good. Okay. Um. So and basically, that's that's the the first part of the game. Uh, there's another cool trick, uh, which uh, you can just dash and hold down, and then press jump here. Uh, to get through this. You can also land on these kind of surfaces like that. Oh, I got it. That's frame perfect. So if you do a dash jump and then uh, land on a uh, like half collision surface like this where you can just fall through. Yeah, I got it again. Wow. Okay, cool. That's that's like you'll if you see that um, that means you've uh, frame perfectly fallen through and yeah, that's a pretty cool trick. There are a couple of spots in this game where you can uh, get double frame perfect and it feels very rewarding. But again, it's a very minor time save, so it's not something to concern yourself with starting out. Okay, so for this part, look at the trans server. I'll point my counter here. As soon as that thing moves to the right, like this thingy, as soon as it moves to around here, is when I press start. Um, uh, just so I don't reload the entire boss again. I put that keyword a little bit closer to. Okay, so you go to the door. As soon as this scene starts is when you press start. But since I want to show you something, I'll save here. As soon as you press start, you can hold. Uh, you can. You can. Oh. You can during the fade out. You can already move. So hold right during uh, them. Like press start and then immediately dash jump. If you pick up the disc, you probably dashed before you uh, and didn't hold right. Uh, so if you see like that, uh, but if you hold right, you should. Uh, oh, and uh, oh, that's also kind of important. Don't do this. Don't do this. Just do this. Dash into doors. Uh, dashing expands your hitbox to be a rectangle, a rectangle that has more horizontal width. Um, so that's that's the best way to enter doors if at all available. Uh, th here, when you enter this door, press start, skip two cutscenes. Now, after you skip this cutscene, do a jump and shoot twice. And then you can start holding your charge shot, if I remember correctly. So, jump, shoot twice, hold charge. Oh, no, wait, I was wrong. Okay. So, jump, shoot twice. Okay, now that wasn't... What do I usually do? Wait, let me... Do small charge shots and okay yeah, yeah okay I get it okay so now you want to ball cancel there and as soon as you land around here do a jumping charge shot and it will connect with this thingy over here so this thingy over here uh, lowers this bridge but um, yeah like your charge shot travels off screen and still will still be able to hit things for a little bit okay let's Uh, that's not what I'm supposed to do, never mind. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, so here what you can do is this. And get that life up. It expands your life bar with four units. 
shouldn't need it, but it might be nice to have uh, on easy mode. Uh, like, you shouldn't need it on easy mode, but it might be a nice pickup to have if you're still getting used to the game and, and you do end up dying. Uh, so I will be showing some of the safety tapes or the safety things you can do to make your life a little easier. If you're playing on the Zax collection, um, you have save assist, so it obviously isn't a problem. But do note that save assist resets the in-game timer, which is used uh, for runs. So turn off save assist when you're doing runs on the Zax collection. So here, as soon as you dash into this area, like as soon as your character stops, is when you can press start. In some uh, triggers for events, you actually have to be in the walking sprite, like the, the airplane boss. It, it's faster if you walk into that than dashing into it. And at the end of this stage, there's a similar trigger, which I'll, I'll showcase as well, so you can actually see what's going on. So now we get to the Mega Man X1 portion of the stage. I just do this, basically. You can... This is fairly straightforward, just don't jump too high on that second helicopter. And you can keep a charge until here. So okay. you dash into this straight, you dash into this trigger, and then you have the can fly mid boss. So uh, release the first shot, then jump and start mashing Y and R like this. Hold. Ta -da. So let's do that again. So I hold forward. Hmm, I don't know if this is even the best kill, but Like that can work too. Like it, it depends on what you feel comfortable on doing. But if you uh, you have if you get hit, you can't shoot the boss anyway. So I feel it's nice to get one of those green charges uh, lit up. For this one, you do have to jump. Okay, that's if it misses out on the purple. That's bad. See, you can two jump this. Uh, if it connects to the perfect thing. So learning these enemy layouts is pretty, pretty basic. Um, but shooting this helicopter, uh, like you can even do it with this shot, with the green shot on easy mode. Um, you have to do it with a blue one on the one. Okay, and here you can just start um, holding your charge and doing a dash wave. Okay, so this is one of those triggers I was talking about a little, go little bit ago. So uh, the triggers around here, Wait, am I wrong? Thought it was easier. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's good. Okay, cool. You can just dash into those triggers. This is uh, the, f the final intro boss, and he's really easy. Just walk forward, release Y, and press Y. Dash. Double charge shot. Double charge shot. Double charge shot. If you do it perfectly. Um, if you do it perfectly, he doesn't even whip out the, the like this attack. So, um, if you had beaten the game with both characters on normal, you would have an extra wheel on your uh, an extra slot on your wheel with Model X. So don't because um, it costs time and it messes up some of the manips or at least one I can think of. Uh, Ale is in general the preferred character, so unless you like playing as Van, like I do, um, you should keep an extra save for that. Uh, okay. So, the cutscene triggers here, you can just press start twice and on the fade out you can move here again, much like the first time. And then we'll get to our first mission. Our first real mission. This game has a fairly long intro. Um, I don't mind it as much, but uh, the Area C mission gets... Um, yeah, you, you, you've seen it after a while. Um, so in Japanese, it's it might be best for you to to know some of the signs. Like how they look is more important than being actually able to read Japanese. Like I can read a little Japanese, uh, not this so much, but this very much. Um, so this one has very complicated characters. So this is the and, and it's first. You can also just memorize their position, but. Uh, especially if you do the same route every time, but that might mess you up once you start switching routes. By the way, I'll be sp uh, explaining flame Flammo first uh, route, and then I might, if I have some time left over, I might do some uh, details on the Luar route. But for now, <coughs> up till uh, th this mission and the next, it'll be the same, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, 
Okay, another another thing. Uh, I probably wait. I probably need to show that as well. Um, let's quit the mission. Okay, uh, after you press up to activate the transfer, press A. The difference is this. So, um, and this goes for uh, mission select as well. So, whoop, press A again. A A down A. Here again, up A down. You can you can scroll to the, through this menu, uh, pressing up as well and down to get to the bottom options, which is really nice. Sadly, on this one, you press oh, oh crap! I, sh <laughs> I, went, I thought there was gonna be another text window, but um, like you wanna teleport to area B. Um, so, and in the the selecting the areas, there's no pressing up to go to the bottom uh, thingy, which is kind of a uh, kind of a bummer because you need to go to area X a couple of times. So that would have been really great. But uh, yeah, okay, let's move on. So you can hold uh, both charge button here if you want. Um, it's not uh, not super required. You can either climb up ladder or you can uh, do this. Uh, if you do it right. Like not like I just did it right there. Uh, it's it can be a little faster, but it's, it's not super necessary. Charge attack has the the charge saber has the most uh, frames of being in an attack, so it's easier to wall cancel with. Okay, this this room I really like. I'm afraid I won't be able to show you like the super pro strat because uh, of the control because of the emulator. You can clip the, you can clip this corner and then clip that corner and then oh get out of there you. And then actually do it on this corner to that corner as well. And that's like you just make a, a perfect diagonal movement and it's really cool. But that's that's not even required. This corner jump is also not required. You can just do... Wait, I'll just show you. I'll just show you what I do. And I've learned this from Ikisawa. Okay, so what did I do? I started my dash and briefly, very briefly after I started my dash, I don't even reach this point. Like it's... I do a full jump. This will all, uh, almost perfectly line me up with this spot. Uh, so I have to spend less time. Like if I jumped here, well, that's, that's okay, but it's, I don't know, it feels easier. And then from here, I dash jump to there. Shut up. Um, and what I do is I press B and R and I hold them. So, and then I press B again. The thing is, if you don't, press B uh, fully the first time, you won't be able to reach the corner, or at least. Oh, and also hold forward so you're close enough to the wall. Uh, you can hold dash for it, but it's not necessary. Uh, I just do it here because I'm gonna dash here. But yeah, this is this is a really cool... Uh, and I, I, I just saw Icky do that someday, and I was like, wow, that's a really uh, good way to do that consistently. Oh, uh, <coughs> in case that's too advanced, like I keep forgetting this might this might be t then you can also do the do this like you don't even need to use the weapons if you don't feel like it but it's just then you can it, it's, it's a lot faster anyways let's move on jump slash jump over the first metal release charge shot you can do a full charge shot here if you want to kill these guys if you want to slashing enemies by the way costs you four frames uh, shooting them costs you none there is a really cool trick here that uh, you can clip around that corner. You have to hit around here, like the lower part of what's above uh, his head. But it's like the the spacing will set you up perfectly if you dash against the wall. But the setup is really hard, and it only saves you like four seconds at best, I think, if you get it first try. So don't bother going for that trick unless you really like it. I trained it for a couple of days on the DS and then I ended up getting it four times in a row but not required like it's not in most of my speedruns anyway um, and it probably won't be in yours either but if you do manage to get it and you get a real feel for it uh, who knows that might be your advantage that might be the trick that, that does it for you there are a lot of frame perfect and pixel well not a lot but there's enough cool small tricks like that that really make this game worthwhile Okay, now we're going to start with area E, which is a very fun area in my opinion. Also some very nice backgrounds, which... Um, anyways, uh, once you enter the area, you press start to skip the cutscene, and I'll just show the movement, and then I'll explain it. I hold down the charge buster for most of the t time here, and I try to jump on these corners, but you can also just uh, dash like this, which might be easier. Uh, you can jump over here, because you can just make this jump. 
so you don't have to be. Um, yeah. Wait, okay. you don't have to do this there. You can though, but it's not necessary. Okay, let's do that again because that was kind of sloppy. Okay, so if you um, wait, I just thought of something. If you uh, miss this jump, because it's this jump can be like these jumps can be a little tight because you have to be at the very edge of the platform to actually make this. Like it's not super tight, like you'll be able to do it in no time, but if you miss it, you'll do that. And that's okay too. Just be sure to if you if you get a feel for it and you, you miss it. Alright, let's let's then you at least uh, make sure you have the, the wall jump prepared. Like it's it's just a very minor thing. No. There's no enemy there. Oh. And you can kill this last enemy, but you can also jump over it. Okay, this area is pretty fun. I'll just show the movement first, and then, oh, maybe not. Okay, so the opening to dash under these things is a little higher than you think. Like that. Um, wait, let me see if I can show you some more. Okay, so... Okay, that was too soon. Me again. Okay. See? Like, when the... Wait, maybe I can pause it at the right time. That may be easier for you to see. Nah, that's a little way too late. Like, when it's around this, it's usually uh, almost to the point where you can dash under it. Which is um, what you want to go for. But you can also just walk under them, by the way. Let's, let's, let's look at walking under them as well. Like you can, you can do. Like there's, there's definitely lenience everywhere. You don't have to do everything the way I uh, show it, but it does really help. You can jump over this guy, or at least charge shot to kill that guy. You can frame perfect that ladder if you want to, but not necessary. Okay, this room's uh, a bit important to learn. Um, first thing I want to point out is don't do this because you'll load in this enemy. Uh, sooner and you kind of want a damage boost off of him to make this easier because otherwise you have to do this jump like you have to jump you have to land here let's see if I can even do that yeah okay so I usually uh, like it's easier for me to just take damage than to I'm getting it a lot more now than I'm getting it ever before so that's pretty funny okay so what I do is do a small jump here here and then wall cancel until getting hit so you can wall cancel here and then I have my controller hit the up button so that's really nice you don't need to hold dash for that, by the way. You can also do that. Then here, this is important. You want to do a full jump and then dash on this one. Um, but these things move. So if your timing is a bit off, uh, this might not work. So this, this takes some getting used to. If for uh, some reason you don't uh, get on time here, what you can also do is just this. And that works fine too. You lose a little time, but if it makes your life uh, easier and if you... Yeah, it's it just... It's fine, you know? You don't have to go for all the the balls deep strats straight away. Let's see if I can get it though. Okay, almost got it. Like you, you're supposed to dash off there, but I was a little late. Then here you can damage boost off that bullet to the front, and then you can make the cycle. Like that's the important part of this room, making it before this thing does that to you. Okay, so let's let's try the whole room. Oh. Probably should have done a full one there, but let's see with the damage. Can I still make the cycle? Uh, no, definitely not. Okay, so then I'm gonna show you something else. Uh, so if you're here, around here, and you can go here and grab this sub tank, but you still have to refill yourself though. So uh, it stores 30 life energy, uh, which might be also an, uh, which might also be a nice insurance to have. Uh, while you're learning this game, if you want to try a certain room a certain amount of times. Okay, let's let's do this room one time right, hopefully. And then we can move on to the next room. Yeah, see? That wasn't a frame-perfect down press, by the way. I thought it was at first, but... Yeah, that, that, that also happens. Dash, dash. Ooh, just barely made it. 
I guess usually not a not gonna be a problem though. Oh, let's see. Okay, so this boss, um, what I recommend doing is jumping and shooting, and then doing this. Okay, wait, let's try it again. Uh, you can get in three hits with the charge saber if you wiggle fast enough. It's a little hard to do on the SNES controller, so I usually just go for two. Then release a full charge shot, and it's it's really fast. Um, let's see if, if I can... There's also another strat, but it's, ah, it's too hard. Never mind, I'll just do the regular thing. This is, this is fine, you know? Alternatively, if it's uh, like you can uh, repress R the moment you shoot, and that'll set you up for the next charge. But you don't have to even like you can just do this, and it's it's fine too. Like if it's too input heavy for you at first, you can just do that. It's not it's not a big deal. If you don't want to wiggle, like if wiggling is too uh, fast for you, you can also just do this. Oh wait, or just uh, like let's let's watch it without wiggle one more time, and I'll move on. Yeah, that was a little sloppy, but like it, it doesn't doesn't matter too much. Like there's there's the rolling slash does four damage per um, per time it connects, so that's that's preferred way to to deal with this. So once you dash here, there'll be another cutscene. And um, this next section is pretty straightforward and easy, so um, uh, up to a certain point anyway. So let's just go through that. You can just do a da full dash jump and land perfectly there, which I didn't do, but whatever. Wall cancel there. Wall jump, wall cancel, red letter. And then you just climb up forever. Now you can start another wall cancel here, like that. But you can also just climb up. You're not, you're not losing time if you just climb up. Not more than a couple frames. You can dash jump off this one, like off this, over that one. So that might be an idea to do as well. You don't have to, by the way. You can just go on the platforms as well. You can also wall cancel off this left wall, but I tested it to be slower, so I don't do it. Just jump on everyone, and you can see the bars in the background, so that gives you a visual indication of where the platforms will be, will be which is very nice. Okay, so now down to the first real boss, the False Roid High Vault. You can skip this cutscene, but I'm just gonna show it to you because it's awesome, and you won't see it a lot because of the speed run. It's very reminiscent of Phoenix Magnion from Zero Two. Okay, so. Let's let's review how this boss battle works on easy. Okay, that was a boss battle. So you don't have to worry about boss battles on easy. The only thing here that's important is pressing Y enough times to make to make the one cycle. So jump, release, charge, and as soon as you start jumping, uh, like press B and Y at the same time if you can, and hold up here. So. You can turn around at the end if you think you're. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Like, let's let's show what happens when I don't make it. You can still like it, it's it loses you a little time, but it still gets you level four, and it's not a big deal. Like uh, if you don't keep pressing Y, this will happen. Um, and this is really bad. Like you don't have a solid way to to hit him up here aside from this. And it just takes forever, so do keep pressing. It's not really hard to so. Okay. Ignore that you saw that. Okay, so I think I've beaten this boss enough to, to give you an idea of how it works. You can also see the input on uh, the right side of the video. Then, as soon as the screen starts to fade out to white, you can just uh, start pressing, start meshing, start. At least that's what I do. Like, I don't know the exact frame to hit it on, and I don't really care. I just wanna, uh, I just wanna get through. Okay, so this is the final stage before the route divergence. So, let's select the second option. So, um, yeah. 
and then we're gonna warp to area B again. Like you're gonna be warping uh, a lot to areas B and A, and a couple of times to D, I guess. Uh, so you get a chance to to get used to this. Um, like you can also wall cancel like this, by the way. You don't need to do the charge attack. I've only recently saw the theory test do it, so that's why I'm kind of trying to implement it, but it's not necessary. You also don't need to keep the charge going here because this part is very. Oh. You don't need to do anything. I keep a charge going here. Then. So here, uh, I do try to kill as many enemies with the buster as I can because uh, the chance that they'll drop green uh, pellets of life metal energy. Life metals being uh, what you use to transform into Mega Man. Uh, they're called biometals in the English version, but I like life metals better, so that's why I call them that. Um, anyways, we got... Um, oh, that, that might be cool. So if you get a level 4 victory, let me show that. You see the bar... Oh, 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 Jesus. Get away from me. Okay, so you see the bar over here, right? Every 4 units, uh, you get 4 units of live metal energy per level kill on the boss. So level 1 is 4, 2 is 8, 3 is um, 12, and 4 is 16. 2 bosses per live metal, so a maximum 32 weapon energy. Live metal energy. Let's just, just call it weapon energy. It's simple. Um, and uh, just hitting the boss. Oh, wait, I I'll show that on Fistleo because that's that's that's. I'll talk more about the tactical finish system, which uh, is important for that. Oh, uh, when we actually are at a boss, that might be a more opportune moment. So here I keep the saber charge as well uh, for this deck trick coming up. So there's a really cool thing that's carried over from the Mega Zero series it's called damage stacking, and uh, I hope I get to show it though. Okay, let's try it again. It's a little hard because... Yeah, that was it. Ta-da. Okay, we got it. The, so when two uh, sprites overlap an enemy sprite, they'll do damage every alternating frame. So one frame this attack will be hitting, the other frame this attack will be hitting, and that does monster amounts of damage. And on that first uh, B over there, or that first thing over there, it's as simple as releasing the charge shot, and then as soon as you notice that you can dash jump, dash jump and do the charge attack charge saber don't repress the shoot button like you normally do though because that'll take away frames from you being able to charge attack oh that was a good one like i don't usually get that well on that boss um it's it's a little harder because it's up in the air uh there's a really uh, like ikisuad like if you just type in ikisuad on youtube uh like he has an amazing uh, normal mode tutorial and uh uh, like flame burgers video on quick killing that boss on normal mode with damage stacking it's just it's just glorious it's very good you should watch it um like it, it's also a great resource like uh like for for a lot of the room stress as well i'm just showing you uh things that uh, i can get uh off the top of my head to work consistently so here th this these, these rooms don't require a lot of explanation so i'm just gonna power through them and i think like most players, once you get a little used to the used to the mechanics of the game, uh, like these rooms are really self-explanatory, so I won't won't dig into much here. So there's a, a chance to get a big energy here. I got it. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see. I don't know. Like, I don't know what the cue is, but you can get a big. Do I need? I didn't need the big energy anymore, right? No, I didn't need. Okay, so never mind. So I switch to model H here, um, and then do a jump air dash, dash jump air dash, and wall cancel here. You can wall cancel pretty easily with this model. Uh, let's see if I hold. Yeah, you have to if you hold L is faster, but you also have to hold forward. Uh, I'll show it on a bigger one a bit. So you wall cancel, then jump over this guy and jump and do an up air dash. Like, I don't know uh, how much problem you have doing this. Like, sometimes on my DS, uh, I'll miss the up input and uh, I'll land on that guy. If you do, like, I'll show the con contingency plan. You can just do this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can just do that. But ideally... Oh, over oh, Model X again. Remember that up dashes only work if you're holding only up. Diagonal up won't work. Okay, so 
might be worth explaining what I'm doing here because I'm just going through and might as well. So these guys take two hits. Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you. I that. Or, no, they think even... Oh, hey, you can see the, the life metal on the... Uh, anyways, um, so what you want to do is press the A button to activate Overdrive, which is a very useful tool for Model H, F, and L, and even a bit for P in easy mode. Sadly, Model P is not used on, um, on uh, any other difficulty than easy and only for one thing. Anyways, you can activate Overdrive at any time. It costs one energy and then gradually costs uh, over time. But what it does is it double damage, doubles damage, and um, yeah, it's, it's just great. Like it just even on normal, it one shots those guys. So that's it's really potent. Um, uh, maybe I should get into details of model HX and more. Up dash, hover, dash slash, air dash slash, level one charge attack, which you can also do in a dash form. Um, what else? Do I oh yeah, and the the triple combo for. Uh, uh, H is not just pressing Y three times, it's Y R Y. And the final attack will also damage tech on certain enemies. I'll show that later again. Okay, let me just show the room. So, but overdrive is gonna be a uh, very important tool. Not as important as it is on normal, because you're far less powerful on normal than you are on easy. But still it's 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 ridiculous. Especially more H is like it's it's absolutely insane. You can also do a dash in there, you don't need to air dash, it's just, that's, that's, I find it easier because I'm already dashing so I can press A, Y, A and, A and then Y relatively easy after each other. So here, I've already picked out the rooms that are most ideal to, to travel to, to, because you have to save some people here. But that's the mission, so you have to talk to, I think, eight people to unlock the door on the top floor which you need to progress. So I'm just going to show you the rooms. Um, this this part doesn't really need a lot of explanation, but what might be important here is the oh, okay. Like you can you can do this as well. By the way, this is what I used to do. It's a little bit slower because the wall canceling will get you there and able to do a dash much faster. Okay, this this is another. Um, you have to transform for the humanoid characters back to human. And to this girl, press B twice, then down A. It gives you uh, fewer text boxes than if you uh, press yes. But it also gives you a large life, uh, weapon energy, basically, uh, if you press the yes answer. But it's at the price of a couple more text boxes. So if you're short on energy, press yes to that girl. Um, so here, what I do is transform here. Uh, you can also transform in this screen, but it doesn't really matter too much. But it's a little faster if you do that. Damage boost off of the... Like, these are actually two hitboxes. Uh, wait, let me show that. Okay, so, um, like, the, the top flame, if you look at that, that's a hitbox. So you want to jump jump on the, like, the, the this corner. This corner. This is where you want to be, <laughs> basically. Uh, and don't worry about the health, because you're, you're getting a lethal here. And what you can do is you can... Uh, wait, I haven't saved in a while. Um, you can dash and press jump. Uh, as you're dashing into that energy and you'll uh, buffer the jump so you never have to oh. so you don't have to worry about making it across those lanes or bumping into them uh, and if you do it right like if you transform just right as the thing is going up I was a little slow there if the character still retains its color like the human character still retains its color that means you had a frame, frame perfect uh, hit on the X button, which I think is pretty cool. Like those kind of details really uh, set this game apart. Okay, this room is pretty cool, so I'm gonna make safe state. Uh, on easy mode, you don't have to try too hard, but it's this really helps. Like this is what I consider the ideal um, way to do this. It is actually oh, it is actually possible to make that jump without hover. Oh, but not like that. Oh yeah. Oh, that, that, that's a cool feature of easy mode. Instant death isn't instant death, so. Uh, yeah, 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 that's the thing here, so you don't have to worry about uh, those kind of things either. Anyways, next room. Okay, so here, uh, like you're, if, you, if you feel confident about your energy or you might be getting a drop, you can uh, kill these guys like this. 
Uh, if you want to conserve some light metal energy, you can just do this. Like a short air dash. You can also do a longer air dash. Like it's not. Here you want to do two up air dashes and jump slash at the end of your uh, jump over drive slash. I'm sorry. So as soon as you're. But you can also. Wait, wait. That might be way too complicated for the first time. Like I'm, I'm always getting ahead of myself because I've played this game so I'm like. You can also just take damage and go through like this. Then here's another option. Depending on how your weapon energy, you can, uh, once you're over this flame, you can do like this and this. That's really easy in my opinion. Uh, and this is my basically my default step because there's always some better place to use weapon energy than that spot. But that's again, uh, like it's a little faster than, uh, like taking damage is a little slower, I mean, sorry. This is my first tutorial, by the way, so I hope it's it's, it's okay. Like, uh, if it's going into too much advanced stuff, I'm I'm really sorry. Like, especially since this is supposed to be a beginner tutorial. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you. This is this is where we talk about the the weapon energy, uh, but also um, let's just let's just fight this boss a bit. There's a couple of ways. There's a couple of cool ways to fight him on easy. Okay, all you have to do is press L. B and A at the first time, and then Y, and then Y, R, Y. If you do it right, if you time it just right, it'll look like that, and you'll have a level 3 finish. So, um, if you're a little too slow, like you want to try to hit the, the frame as, or you want to hit, um, move, you want to be able to hit the buttons as soon as you're able to move, so really get a feel for that. If you're a little too slow, if the hits are a little differently timed, the RNG for the boss will change, and he will jump, and you'll lose time. And it's 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 not a big deal. Like, okay, I'll, I'll show what happens if it, if it's, if you're a bit slow. That happens. So you lose some time. Big deal, right? Um, but yeah. Um, okay. What else can happen? Because I got a, I got a few more hits in there. Okay. Say we only get those hits in. You can do this and this as well. Um, so the weak spot. Uh, is his face, which is uh, symbolized by those red slashing parts that come from him. You can also see this life bar here start to blink red. And the more you hit him, the further down that'll go, uh, your level will go. See, now it's a level 2. It's actually pretty difficult to get a level 1 on easy mode. Uh, so, there is some advanced uh, tech to, to getting the levels down a bit, so you have uh, actually have a bigger chance of having weapon energy for model p but at this point not too super necessary what i do want to kind of want to like what is this okay yeah um so there's another if you have um the energy you can enter this room with a charge and you can actually kill him a little bit faster it's uh it costs a little more like it costs two more weapon energy but let's see if we can get it okay that was almost it cool Boom! Three hits. Because the orb and the slash have to hit on the same frame. That's the important thing here. Um, but you can you can triple kill him. It's not hard. You don't have to try really hard for this kill. But you also don't have to go for this. Like, if you feel comfortable uh, and you have sa you have save assist on the ZX collection. So, or if you're playing an emulator like I'm right now, you can just load save and try it a couple of times. Get a feel for it before you start doing a run. Start doing this in runs. Um, you most of the time you'll get a level three. There are ways to get a level four, but it's completely unnecessary. Um, and um, getting a level two is, is just as good. Like I, I, I think I usually get a level two here, but I, I don't know. Like, anyways, I need to make a separate save here so I can show the route diversion thingies later. Okay, so now we go with the, the Flamel first route, which is the bottom option. Um, this being the... Oh, wait. The, the first option is the, the Luara, Luarla. Luarla. It's a really hard name. It's really weirdly translated to, so I never know what, to, what the boss is called. The Fishy Boss. Okay, the Fishy Boss is here, and the Mole Boss is here. So um, this route, which will be... Um, like, if you're starting out learning this category, uh, in preparation for normal mode as well, uh, flam mode first is much more forgiving because you'll have a lot more weapon energy for uh, the fishy boss, which is, is especially on normal, it, 
like it took me a, whole, a long time to get used uh, or to, to get used to the idea of running uh, fishy first but now I've gotten so used to it that, uh, that it's, it's, it's completely like ingrained in my system and I do it all the time and there's there's like once you've gotten uh, good enough at flammel first route um, there's really uh, on easy there's no reason to keep doing this route like it's, it's purely in preparation for normal mode kind of want to grab that energy because it's pretty um, on the way and you're not sure if you're gonna get some drops okay so let's move on to area K okay um, I'll try to show the area first and then talk about it a bit again try to air dash jump over these guys but it doesn't work all the time for me uh, might be a little slow there you can actually not kill all these enemies uh, I usually do kill that guy though uh, there are some advanced strats here but this is this is this is yeah this is what I usually do um, some alternative also some alternative things you can do as well is uh, you can you could potentially wait a little bit here and do an up dash here to avoid taking damage then kill this guy then jump slash slash and air dash which wait let me do that right then jump slash here jump air dash 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 up dash slash like it's, it's I th that's that's what I used to do like back in the day when I started learning this game and I think that's fairly it should be fairly doable and if you want to take it a little more slow that's perfectly fine like it's it doesn't all have to look like this but I just want to give you a picture of what general movement can look like uh, even with the slightest investment so what I do here I'm not sure if this is manipulation but I do that activify overdrive triple slash and it's gone like I wait for the boss to melt and like I don't even need to show this boss another time because it's just so mind-numbingly easy with overdrive or sonic boom so here one two three air dash that's oh wait let's save a little later than that one two three oh that's one two three yeah that's it. one two three Wow, that was perfect. I even got a little zip from this corner, but uh, landing here is actually not perfect. So, one, two, three. But that's what you want to do. Air dash, dash, air dash, jump over that screen. Very easy room. Okay, so, wait, let me... This room might actually be worth showing. You're being chased by lava. Which kills you instantaneously, even on easy. This is, this is actually the only instant kill thing aside from crushing that, uh, that does so. So jump over this guy you can air dash under this or kill it like it doesn't matter a lot like especially at the early stages four frames who cares right you want to overdrive slash this one but in case you don't have the the hand momentum like you can roll your thumb if you look at the right side of the screen you can just roll your thumb ay uh, especially from a dash it's it's very easy to to do in my opinion but if it's not if you're having problems you can also just do but it costs one more weapon energy so that's kind of the trade you're making for comfort if you're going for that air dash over this one uh, you can probably air dash over this one too uh, i usually take damage here but you can also oh wait uh, first i'll show you like let, let's let's back to that ois strats overdrive invoke system strats are these Now damage abuse strats are these. You still have to kill that guy though with overdrive or an orb. Uh, you're you always be penalized for taking damage, so keep that in mind. Um, the health refill is always going to cost you time, so that's why it might be faster to to kill the enemies, or it's definitely it's definitely faster to kill the enemies but it all depends on how much weapon energy you have you want to spend and uh, yeah just get a feel for that it, it's really up to you like how you clear these rooms and i think that's one of the strengths of this game you don't have to do it an exact way to get a decent time and that's also something i really want to point out like um, don't compare too much to other people's time just get a time and start working on that and enjoy the improvements that you can make watch videos of other people playing and add those strats to your own uh, if you can oh wait let me make a save state there that might actually be uh 
That might be a good idea. Oh, a little too, a little too early there. This is why I air dash here. So I don't... Okay, never mind. We're not seeing this. Nothing happened. Let's just move on to the next room. We've, we've seen this room now. Uh, danger is with the... Um, this, uh, danger is with the... Uh, with the rolling of the thumb is that you actually hit the accidentally hit the X button. Uh, it doesn't happen to me on the SNES controller, but it does happen to me on the DS, which I stream this on. Um, so yeah, no, there might be something to. to okay, so let's look at this room. Some damage boost stress. That's a really cool volume. So this is what I used to do for this room. Uh, because it leaves you with a lot of weapon energy. Let's look at the uh, overdrive strats. If you are far enough, you don't hit two enemies, which saves a little bit of time. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Oh, that wasn't cool. Uh, if you do get it here, you can always slash those things because electricity beats uh, fire. But you can also take damage. It takes four damage from, from these things, uh, as opposed to being instant death like on, uh, on normal mode. But I personally enjoy, uh, like, we don't have a lot of weapon energy here, so I feel like... God, I love the wall jump so much. So I feel very comfortable uh, with these guys. Okay, let's make two saves here. Uh, yeah, this is another boss that's really easy. That's, that's, that's not going to be a really big uh, time-consuming thing to learn. Oh. Wait, did I not make... Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, let me save a little closer to the, to the thing. Ta-da! That's the entire boss battle. Um, I actually don't want it to be level 4, though. Okay, let's see if I can... Is it even okay? Okay, you can you can actually hit him. I usually like on the DS. I usually get level three, so I was kind of confused. Okay. Uh, even if that, yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's see what happens if I do that. <laughs> this boss is so silly. Like I I I'm trying to show you something, but uh, getting level uh, three is, in my opinion, ideal. So um. Getting a level four um, makes it harder to get energy from Model P, but it's not it's not a big deal if you do get it. So let's try the orb kill for this guy as well, all right? Let's see if I can get it. Okay, there you go. It wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth, but that's the basic idea. Um, but going for this is is not super necessary because the skill is so easy and you maybe save a couple frames by doing this uh, because you don't have to wait for the for the final attack you don't want to do that by the way see there i missed it because the orb was too high yeah there we go now it's too late Okay, whatever. We'll we'll go, we'll roll with it now. You've seen the you've seen the process. Uh, don't use the orb unless you feel comfortable doing it. Uh, it costs a lot of weapon energy. Um, and you can just do it with a jump slash and sonic boom. It's very it's a very easy boss. And there's also not a lot to get worried to, to uh, wor about. Not a lot to be worried about there. Um, if you bunk into them, there's still some time to. To correct your mistake before he dives into the floor. Okay, so now we're gonna do uh, fishy. And we're gonna move to area A. And you can move a little to the right here and then do an air dash up, but you can also just do a straight air dash up, it doesn't matter too much. If you do a uh, dash jump perfectly, you can clip this little corner and it will you, push you forward a couple of pixels. Let's see if I can get it. Too greedy. Ah, that was it. Um, but again, that's that's advanced stuff. Um, or Well, it's not really advanced, it's just uh, advanced optimization, I guess. 
up back here, dash jump, ta-da! You can also, let's, let's, let's look at some other stuff. You don't need to do it like that either way. This guy can go away. You can also just do this. Very easy. Here I do two full jumps in a row, and then slash. And you can actually dash under this. Oh wait, I probably should have. Really good music, by the way. Okay, so jump, jump, slash, dash underneath. Then here you can dash your regular jump up, and you can either do this. Uh, but that, that I like, I find those jumps a little hard. So um, what I do is this, because it allows me to st uh, time out the spacing more, so I don't have to like pay attention as much as I'm doing this, like. You can already dash him from around like this point. So what I do is uh, the air dashes uh, allow me to space out more. But on this wall, the second wall, like the first is easy because it's uh, wall cancel up dash, wall cancel up dash, and you're in the oh, it's actually the same there. Never mind, no, I've said nothing. Then from this point, you you slash these energy crystals, which is a I think I told you about this before, or, or I told, talked about this before. If you slash large energy containers, they break up into smaller ones, and energy crystal ones give you four weapon energy as well. Um, and uh, energy crystals give you, or what? what um, yeah. <coughs> Anyways, I think you can make it from here. Is that faster? Is that what we should do, or is this what we should do? Huh. I'm actually, I'm actually... Oh, that's definitely not what we should do. Hmm. Might be faster to, to do that. I'll have to... Anyways, you can do this. Like, this is fairly easy. Then change the model F here. This is this is the good model, boys. Already have some weapon energy in it. It's gonna be good, guys. I love this area. I love playing as model F. Okay, so this is... Uh, one of the coolest areas in the game, in my opinion, has some great music. Uh, but let's let's get on. So what you want to do here um, is you can just power through with Model F. If you do a full dash, then jump and shoot four times, you will very likely get a free energy drop from the first enemy. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was. Okay. Yeah. This this is this is like I usually get this free energy on uh, the DS, but it's it's a little tighter uh, because uh, I can't... Fr inputting frame perfect on the emulator um, like it's a little harder, I don't know why. So here what you want to do is this, jump and shoot a couple times because it will stop your dash if you shoot. So um, yeah. What you also do, if you have the gauge that I have right now, which is a lot of weapon energy, you can also do that. Uh, it will also uh, break these blocks. If you are completely without... Wait, let me, let me see if I can... There's the backup option. Oh. Okay, so now I'll show it what it would be like without weapon energy. It doesn't matter too much on, uh, on easy mode. It's a little more consequential. Um, uh, it doesn't matter as much on easy. Uh, you can do... You can use the charge. Uh, break it even without weapon energy and it'll break surfaces and throw away enemies. It's actually really cool. Right. Love it. Okay, but let's continue to the next block because I think yeah, you'll you'll be able to, to get this. No problem. Like, this isn't a very hard part of the game. Hmm. Okay, next room. I think there's a way to get a free energy here as well, but it's very like, it kind of depends on your mashing. You can get a big weapon energy from that first guy. So here again, if you don't have the the, the weapon energy, you can use... Uh, it's still faster than the other path to go this way. You can kill these guys for energy as well if you're running short. Uh, but all these ice cubes, if you don't have the energy, just punch them. Like, it's definitely slower, but still faster than taking the other routes. Oh, oh, this might be a good time to show another backup. I don't think there was one. Uh, this is easy mode, so you can just do this. You don't even need to transform. Don't even need to care there. And it also gives you some extra time to... But, like, we're not going to use that life up in the... I'm not going to use it, but... You can also do this, by the way. It's a little scarier on normal mode, but... Uh, 
So what I do here um, is I use a wall cancel and I press away. So I roll my thumb like this and it will clip the ice cubes as well. At least that's what I was trying to show. And then I usually activate overdrive there so I can shoot two balls to this guy, uh, making my life a little easier. Oh, that's very nice. If you get more weapon energy here, you won't have to get it in the next room. You don't absolutely need it in the next to get it in the next room, but it does make your life a lot easier. So let's. Uh okay, I think if you do a dash jump shot, you can get a free energy from this guy as well. Yeah, see, uh, you can even get a big energy from this guy. In which case, you don't need to go all the way over here and grab this one. But let's say we do. Let's get this guy too. Wall buffer here, wall buffer up here. Shoot up, which is a feature of this model, by the way. Uh, you can uh, you can also do this, by the way. Um, oh, and this is what the charge uh, attacks look like. Uh, and they uh, do that, by the way. All fire damage breaks ice thingies. Um, uh, what was I doing again? Okay, cool. So I'll show you how this room uh, works for me in general. You can destroy those blocks as well, it's a little faster I think. You over turn the overdrive off after you kill that bear by the way. Uh, because the bear only takes two shots with overdrive. And we switch to model H here and there's a little route diversion you can take here. Um, like I'm gonna show you what you should never attempt. Like <laughs> let's just for good, good measure try this a couple times. Like this. This is an impossible corner jump. I've made it about four times, I think, in my in my attempts. Uh, well, so let's say I tried it 80, 80 times and I got it four times. That's not a good ratio. Oh, okay. Here, uh, after you've up dashed onto this ice guy, oh, that's very cool. Then you up dash again, then dash jump. You can just, you can da air dash into diagonal surfaces and it'll turn in a regular dash and you can dash jump again. Now for this guy, he has some pixels you can stand in front of. You can also do this. Like I didn't come up with this strat, but it's really cool. If you have trouble positioning yourself, you can just air dash into him and then go here. Oh, that's another cool feature or another thing about this segment. If you get struck by the slow flakes, uh, you get slowed down. Uh, where are the enemies now? I want to show stuff. Okay. But if you change small f, total immunity. Like, he is not affected by slowing down. He's way too hot to be cooled down. Okay. Now I'll show you the area in full. The way I think you should, uh, should go at it. First time around. Uh, I usually... Jump somewhere up here. Then this. Oh, that was a little too slow. If you're too little too slow, you get hit by the snowball. Oh my god. Anyways, let's pretend that never happened. Okay, so here, once you do that, get away from me. Uh, once you do the, the this jump with the overdrive, so A B Y, you start holding Y, is uh, what I recommend. If you do, uh, it sets you up for this next boss uh, to kill it a little faster. So I'm gonna try and show it to you. And that's it. That's that's this mid boss. And this is also the only advantage this route has over um, doing uh, fishy first. So let's go through this room one more time. Uh, that was that was very uneconomic of me. slow there but it should, should do the trick this time. Oh, I was too slow. Well you can do this as well. Like this boss is, goes down so easy. Uh, you can do that with overdrive but it, it like do do what you like. Like there, there are some options. You can also change to model H um, to, to use sonic booms but it takes two sonic booms so even even mediocre mashing on that boss is faster than changing to model H. I'm taking the side route. I probably should have shown that. Wait, let me let me let me show that real quick. 
So the alternative idea what you can do is um, Oh so you can go here. If you wanna conserve some model F energy. Okay, this jump's kinda important. You press L A B Y. So you press L and then roll your thumb from A to Y. And it will get you here. Then you can hey, go away. Then you can do this. You can you can kill this guy if you want to, but um, this this is if that's too hard. Uh, you, yeah, yeah let, let, let's let's show more easy strat. You just kill this guy. Land on this guy. Kill this guy. And you're good. You don't have to jump over the bear like I did. But it's, it's a strat I came up with, so I kind of wanted to show it off. I usually start holding charge here, but it's not super necessary. Wait, let's... let's this is another detail I want to I talk about. So if you dash and jump, you'll lose your dash down on ice. But when you're on another surface, like if, if the game thinks you're on another surface, it'll allow you to dash down. So that's the trick here. You actually, the game you let the game think you're on the spike surface, even though you're not touching the spikes. So yeah, uh, then here you want to dash jump around here, so like this, and then do that. Uh, you can actually, I think, let's see if we can do this on easy mode. Uh, that's what the two assist does, something like that. And you dash, you know, is it it's somehow faster? I don't know. But uh, f for for easy for easy mode, let's just do this. You can start holding the chart. There's another tight jump you can make, but it's not. It's not so you always want to be holding at least level one charge in here. Okay, let's. This boss might be a little tricky at first, so I'm gonna demonstrate how. Okay, that's that's the quick kill. Let's let's do that in slow motion because it's it's pretty quick. Okay, so what you do is you press A, B, and and then Y twice. Oh. I hope that gave you a clear vision. So you start holding Y the second time you shoot. That's the important part. So A, B, Y, twice, dash, R up, Y up. You just have to hold up, by the way. I hope this is clear enough. This is the easier uh, kill, in my opinion. Um, but let's look at the, um, uh, like, I want to get a level three. Uh, so let's, let's get a level three if we can. See, that's that's the tough part about this 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 quick one. If you're too slow, uh, it won't work. Ta-da! Okay, I showed you level three. That's ideal because you don't need a lot of live metal energy for uh, model L in this category, especially like on the other routes. You uh, still only need like level three from this boss, so it, it doesn't matter. But if you get level four as well, it just makes it a little harder to get that full energy for um, for PX to get a quick kill on another mid boss. So after beating four of the main bosses, you'll uh, get a cutscene after um, uh, after doing the last mission. Then you have to transform uh, teleport to Area X, and it will give you an attacking the base intermission, much like Mega Man Zero One, which I think is a pretty cool throwback. So you go back to visit Prairie with the same fade out skip, uh, fade, same fade out movement like before. Uh, and if you're doing this route, you can uh, just take the elevator up to the first level and then just start pressing B, B and Y against the wall and just wall buffer your way up. It's really, really comfortable to do. Okay, so here we're gonna have to do some mashing, and uh, I'll show it first. I guess it's not too. So you can alternate these busters every frame or so. That's really, really sick. Uh, so what I do is I move uh, on the DS especially. I move the character with my pinky, and then use the index fingers to mash. So my right index fingers on R and my left index fingers on Y. I'm not sure how that translates to Joy Cons um, or other controllers that you might use. So um, be aware of that if you want to get ideal mash. Wait. Do I need to... Okay, let's let's look at uh, regular mash. If I don't use my, my meshing technique, it doesn't matter that much on easy. No, it does not. You can use some overdrive on the last one, but you might want to conserve some for uh, one more boss that's coming up. 
but it does make it even faster. Like it just, and you only want to do that on the last one if you want to do it at all, because the last one, as soon as the explosion, can press start. And by the way, every second container is the ender of the wave. So even if you don't kill, well, once both containers are off screen, but usually you've killed the first one. So you want to spend some overdrive on the second one. But that's that's like like I said, it's easy mode, so you don't have to even have to spend overdrive there if you don't want to. Like it might save you some frames if you're lucky. Okay, so here's another boss. That's th this might be. Uh, I can't I can't say this boss is tricky. This is just easy mode. What am I saying? Okay, this is Prometheus, one of the evil Mega Man with a siphon. Looks like it's inspired by death. So I'm gonna show you how it looks like, and then we'll talk about it. Shoot. Charge shot, dash into him, and then not, not do that. Okay, so the manipulation in for the RNG is shooting. Okay, that was that was how it's supposed to look. So um, you shoot the wall, then you shoot the charge half charge shot into Prometheus, then bump into him. Um, so you ha so you have iframes to be inside him, and then as soon as you leave the ground, much like uh, with high vaults, you have to start meshing. Uh, well, you have to start meshing Y while holding up. I actually got in a jump slash before the rolling slash started, but it doesn't really matter. Like I'll show you that it doesn't matter. That's how it's supposed to look, or that's how it mostly looks most of the time. Uh, so you you do a full a full rolling slash and then end with one more slash or sometimes two, just like just keep pressing Y anyways. Like if if you didn't get the full rolling, like you don't even have to mash that good to get to get good rolling. By the way, it does a couple. Like it does about half of, uh, of boss's life on its own. So it does like 32 damage if you do a good full cycle of it. Um, oh wait, wait, wait. Alternatively. What else can this boss do? This. So if it does this, that's the strat. Let's try that one more time. Oh, I got it, got it. That's but that's very hard to get. Like at least that that's very hard to get consistently. That's a better that's a better way of putting it. It's not a very it's not hard to do because most of the things aren't hard. But that's one. Uh, so I'm really happy that Iki came up with that uh, backup strat. Or that better strat, that's a better way of putting it, the better strat for killing Prometheus. So up next we've killed uh, Loire, so now we are going to uh, Hurricane, which is in area I. So we're gonna move to area E. I think, I think this is how we do it, yeah. Okay, let's let's look at the. Oh uh, yeah, that that's annoying. I always forget that about easy mode. These guys move a little slower on easy, so I recommend getting to the top route here, and then going down around before that cannon. Then you can jump on this, and you can. Oh, this is it isn't that hard as I'm making it look right now. By the way, one two, like there's a good setup. One two, I think I was. Yeah yeah yeah, one two. Like if you do two, yeah, that's that's a good setup. If you're having trouble with finding out the spacing for this jump, for some reason, one, two, three. One, two. Okay, you have to. One, two, three. Like it's there's that that's a free setup for that uh, thing, or at least that's that's doable. So two full jump. Uh, uh, yeah, what, what am I saying again? One, two. Yeah, and at the height of the second wall jump, you do a dash wall jump. That's that's it. So uh, then you want to switch to model F. And you can just do this, uh, and you basically skip the entire stage. I recommend grabbing this energy as small F. Um, do I need to go over again? No, let's let's just go move on. So here it's all dark, so that's gonna make it harder for me to explain what's going on. But there are these hopping enemies again, but you only need to kill the top ones. So I do some jump shooting, do a full jump, do some shooting. Whoa, it's it's it's. it's I changed to Mal L around here. This isn't a very fun roaming. You might get hit a lot there, but it ultimately doesn't matter too much at the start of the game. So this is this is something to be optimized for later. Um, like, oh it, it, yeah, like you can do a full jump from this platform to here. Um, but if you don't, like you can always just clip up here. There are two moving platforms here. Um, like you can actually clip that corner, much like in area C, and get up here. But again. 
not necessary at all. You can also just wall jump and wall buffer there. Wall cancel. Jump slash here. And that's basically the whole stage. You just skip. Okay, next boss. What a boss. This is actually identical to the fight on normal mode, by the way. So, yeah. Okay, so what you want to do is... Uh, this. This is what I recommend. Even though it gives you one unit less, uh, four units less of weapon energy for moral age, you already have seven levels combined. So you already have like 28 weapon energy for moral age as is if you kill them like this. And the key to doing this kill is slightly delaying the jump slash. Because then you'll connect with the neck, which is the weak spot of this boss. So you press left L, B, and then Y. Oh, at least I, I hope you do. Yeah, like that. And then you just forget what to do. That was too soon. I completely forgotten again. Way too focused on the first hit. Let's just fine, fine, we'll work with it. It doesn't really matter for a no no wait. I, I kinda have to get a level three to get accurate. Oh, that worked too. Let's do that. You can turn around because the uh, the end of the hitbox might hit her faster, but it hasn't yielded with consistent results for me yet. So you can just do this kill. It's really easy. It's basically charge of a uh, overdrive, jump slash, regular slash, and then a charge platform and a regular slash. After that, um, those are the only combos this model was possible, uh, is capable of on land. Here you do the just jump and attack, and immediately press start as soon as you hit that thing. Okay. Now this is uh, a little more annoying to do on this route, because uh, like in the other route I think you do this as model Zex. Um, but it's not completely unworkable, it's just, um, yeah. Um, like if you do a jump slash and you're a little too late in it, you like there's cooldown time if you hit the ground. So let's see how that translates to this model. You can actually kill those guys too with uh, uh, I mean, that. You can wiggle, but if you can, I mean I can't apparently, so that's cool. You don't have to. Like, um, but there's there's some. Let's look at our weapon energy. Okay, so. If Pretty good weapon energy. Um, you can always farm these guys. Like, like you'd lose some frames, but if you gain like a lot of weapon energy, that means you're gaining seconds. Like, so keep that in mind whenever you're. Um, uh, like, it's not the thing to, to, to worry about, and it's also okay to backtrack, especially for a large weapon energy container. Definitely, just just go back those few pixels and get it. Especially in your first dozen playthroughs. Like, I still even do it sometimes. Um, especially if, if on normal, it's, it's much more valuable resource there. Oh, okay. I actually want to talk about this part a bit because this is a really cool, pe really cool area. Really cool room. You can clip this corner, much like the one in area C. Uh, and then jump around here and then this. If you do it ideally like that, you uh, don't bump into this corner. Let's look at it uh, if I do mess it up. See, so here I spent some time going vertically up as opposed to... That was very slight, but it, it was still noticeable. Then you can make this jump. Like, this is the, I love that you can make this jump. And if you don't, you can just do that. Here are two options. You can do a jump slash or a dash off the platform and slash. It doesn't matter what you do. And you slash this crystal for an, uh, additional weapon energy. Really recommend that. Really recommend that. All the weapon energy always helps. Okay, so let's get down to area J, which used to be one of my least favorite areas, and now it's one of my favorite. Skip the cutscene, then dash left and dash down and hold left down, uh, or hold down dashing and then press B. Uh, okay, not like that. Let's try that again. Wait. Okay. 
yeah that's 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 the movement speed you want to see like if you do it wrong like otherwise you do it wait there's there's so much room for why am i just looking at it where yeah that's that's the proper end yeah so the difference is either going down like that or going down like that so that's basically what you're trying to do here you move right and do a full dash jump and a full wall jump and air dash, water dash here air dash. so this might look all scary but in easy mode you don't take damage from the spike so you don't have to worry about that so you can really get used to these jumps wow, so let's let's look at those jumps again because why not so you, you want to just do this oh okay so that's how that happened so Okay, this is actually this is actually good that I'm running into this because I already forgot that happened. So maybe do not do a full jump there. No, it's definitely easier to do a full jump. Okay, release jump somewhere around here, so uh, it will set you up better to do the thing. So in case you're still not on enough life energy, God forbid, you can always grab this thing. Okay, so the first thing is a full jump, but the second one isn't. Okay, that's good. Okay, this room, this room, this room. Okay, do a small hop here, dash under the fishy. Uh, if you don't, that will happen. So that's why you do a small hop there, or a slightly elevate the hop, then wall buffer here, jump slash wall buffer, and here you can do a couple of things. You can do this. This is this is a good way to get through. Like it's water dash, but it's slower than doing say. Uh, go away fishies go away no leave me alone you can also do this which is a little faster but it's sacrificed for health this hit is can be a little tricky you have to hit this thing twice and you can hit the front part once and that part once so you want to overlap that attack so let's look at that again oh that was definitely not it so. oh please dash thank you Oh, actually landed on that. That happens as well. And I keep holding charge after I hit that guy. You can actually make it on here, so let's and then do a full jump. You can actually make it across here too. But let's let's no, actually actually let's not. Oh, messed it up. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're cool. Yeah, that was a little bit of a high jump, but whatever. We'll take it. Okay, so this boss, you want to enter this room with a charge because it manipulates RNG. Look what happens when you you release. You, you don't hold the charge there. It will always give you this pattern. Um. So let's try the let's try the quick kill. Let's see if I can show you what's going on here. Okay, that that was definitely not. Well, that was almost it, but uh, was a little too late on the first hit. That's the kill. Okay, so let's let's let's. Oh wait, oh crap! I apologize. Uh, let's look at that in slow motion. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, wait, maybe not that slow. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it here. I just want to give you an idea of what's going on. And it's even harder to do in slow motion because I've gotten used to it. So what you want to do is jump slash with overdrive and then press yourself against the wall and just mash Y and forward. But if you're too low like that, uh, it will bump into you and it will cancel the stuff. And if you really want to make sure you get it, you can demount the wall on the last hit. I think it needs four hits, but it might be five. I hope that was kind of clear. I hope that kind of... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's just move the, the frames up and show you some different strats. That is a technical kill. What you can also do is just change the model H. And as soon as this thingy, like this thingy, 
this thingy reaches around here so reach on top is when i activate the overdrive and then do a really moderate triple slash so it's not really fast button pressure so i hope uh, i can demonstrate that boom so like what i was showing you first is the advanced strat which even on easy is can be a little difficult at first and this oh it can it, it can still fill but um like it's it's mostly important for um like it's very easy to get consistently oh oh not sure oh i transformed too early okay so that happens when you transform too early so wait for the snake thing to come out of his hole then transform turn around and just wait a little longer uh, is on those attacks maybe i should show that in slow motion as well this is a lot easier to do so it shouldn't Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing that can happen. What happens if you don't do it right? And then we're gonna move on. Like, it only does like 25% of its total damage, so don't do that. Don't do that, it's not good. But, like, if you wait for it to go at the top, it's, it's, this is a really doable quick kill on... Um, on, on easy mode but it's, it's it's much tighter on normal so don't don't feel bad about going for the hx skill there i did it for the longest time it's just guaranteed one cycle it just brings a nice air of comfort to an otherwise rng related boss uh okay uh, look at our health our health is about uh, six units down so i have like 10 energy okay let's let's do some water dashing here you can jump over this guy. Oh, here's another cool jump you can make, but don't have to. You can jump. Wait, I said. Spikes may seem daunting at first, but again, this is easy mode. You can make a jump. You can uh, go straight here. But you can also, if you don't feel like you're good enough on weapon or life energy, you can just, as you're going down, hit slash around here, because then you can, the, the, the drops kind of pop out if you can see that. Um, so you can grab the drops earlier and start buffering up back up. Uh, so yeah, that's what I would recommend if you want to grab those at all. But that's not for the sake argument or whatever. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, okay. So this is another easy boss. Let's, uh, let's go over it real quick because there are two ways to kill this. Even though it's basically the same. Oh, that's, not, that's definitely not the farm I was looking for. So I start holding R, then I, Y, double tap Y, and barely miss out on the quick throw. That's interesting. That's interesting. Apparently I've never... Okay, that's that's the quick throw I personally would go for, I think. Wait, let me, let me, let me check this out real quick. That's weird. Yeah, see, it should make... I don't know what happened there, but basically... Um, uh, the reason I shoot up here first and don't do the... Oh, oh wait, that's that's the, the, the other option is this. Oh, and I should definitely hit that shot then. Uh, that's not completely right either. I think I'm doing something wrong here. Okay, that's, that's not what I even what I want to do. <laughs> I'm completely lost now. Okay. Nope. This this is a uh, this is because I'm so used to my regular pattern that I don't know how to change it up right now. But uh, anyways, you. Okay, I missed one of those shots, but that basically was it. Um, so you can either put the charge attack after the first two shots or after the second two shots. And the reason I do it after the second two shots is because the last thing you do to the boss will trigger its full cycle iframes. So by waiting, uh, by putting a charge attack at the end, you're basically shortening the, 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 the time of the he is in iframes. That's basically the, the idea. Um, and I think you'll, you'll be able to do this no matter what. I don't think I have to explain this much more, I hope. Uh, you can jump off the ball, you can be on the ball, but there's a chance you might hit the lower parts of the boss. 
Okay, so here's a little rug diversions. Di di diversions? Oh my god. Um, so let's let's show the classic route first. This is the slower route, but um, I'm gonna show it to you anyways because this is one you might want to take on normal. So practice this as well. I'd recommend if you're if you're scared of hitting the spikes, this is the way to go because there's nothing instant death about this, and it also gives you an opportunity to pick up that if you want to. Another large weapon energy, but um, you're gonna be good on weapon energy for the rest of the run. And, in my, in my estimation. So here what I do is I do dash jumps and pressing Y, sometimes Y, R. So, uh, but what it does is it adds an extra transformation here. So we'll wall kick off that, much like in Area C, and then just wall buffer your way up here. Um, so the alternative is changing to model L and going left. Since we won't be needing Model L after this point in the run, there's no reason to pick up the energy below. But I'm thinking I'm a little low on life energy to show the next threat, so I hope I hope I'm not. But okay, now I'm definitely <laughs> okay. I'll make a save for that last room, and if it doesn't pan out, I'll just get the life energy so I can just show you what to do. Uh, okay, we can save now. Thank you. Short hop, hop and slash. Take damage from this guy. Definitely don't jump in those spikes. This might be a little tricky. Not that I'm thinking about it. You can also do this, by the way. But then you can do the final damage boost I have in mind. So let's let's get some extra energy. Why not? Yeah, this should be fine. Uh, but you can also just water dash through there and skip one damage boost if you're low on health. Uh, but it's a little tighter to, to thread the needle, even though it's not really a hard one. Okay, here's another cool trick. You can not kill those enemies and make it across, and I think that's uh, it's a little harder on normal, but it's really cool to do. But again, completely optional. So here I start holding the charge button, then I dash into this thing and do this. That's an advanced strat. So let's look at some normal strats now because you don't you don't have to do this. Let's let's look at some normal strats. I'm, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Kill those guys. Then you can do this. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good room as well. I like using the ice platform and the damage boost because damage boost because it's exclusive to easy mode because you can damage boost off spikes which you otherwise couldn't. But um, yeah, that's 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 a very very reasonable backup. And uh, just because I didn't replay that room uh, a lot going back, uh, I just r suggest like reloading that part of the video if you uh, really want to analyze or get good at this part. Damage boost off the left side of this turtle. Oh wait, I'm gonna load my save and I'm gonna do this all over again, aren't I? Oh, here we go. I should have saved. I usually just do small hops here. Oh, please, this. Okay, well, at least you got to see the room again. So here you can water dash to here, then do a wall buffer there, and dash under that turtle. If you're a little too slow there, um, if you get the screen up too fast and you're a little too slow, you'll bump in the turtle, which might be catastrophic if you have one life left, or one energy left, I mean. But otherwise, not a big deal. Just lose some frames. It's uh, convenient to damage boost off the turtle so you don't have to damage boost off the spikes. This is how I do it. Um, but let's let's look at an alternative step for that. Oh, oh, let's let's not get. Thank you. Okay, let's let's. If you're here, once you're here, you can also do this. And that's a matter of preference. Like I've been doing. Uh, yeah, whatever. I've been doing this for like 13 years, so I always do that, and it's a lot smooth. It looks a lot smoother on the DS, by the way. So uh, you can slash this even with crystal for some health if you want to. It's not super necessary and now we'll be going to the um, 
uh, neutral bosses. Uh, neutral elemental bosses. Uh, you don't need to kill some of these enemies like this one. Oh, I think you don't need like, to do it like this, right? Or is it just a normal? No, no, stop, stop following me. Okay, so kill that one. Uh, you can skip some of these enemies. You can farm them for uh, life or uh, I mean weapon energy if you want. I usually end up killing these two guys, and then this guy, and here there's some, some different things you can do, but this is what I do. I think that's close to us the fastest, but I, I'm not sure. So these guys will stay low a lot longer on, uh, on easy, so be sure to kill those close to the ground. This is something you can also like do like this if you want to. I don't know. If you're ever really short on weapon energy, I'll show you the uh, the way I do this room if I'm ever short. Which is more of a normal mode thing than anything else. This is a very long horizontal segment where you can just you know, get some peace of mind. So basically that's that's the only difference in this room if you decide to get the extra energy. Which, like in my experience, on easy you will never need. But I still want to give you as much of a full picture of this game uh, as I can. To really set set up the uh, do start charging at some point during this section, by the way. Uh, so this next mid boss, mid boss is kind of interesting. It matters on what frame you enter this battle. So let's see. Um, if you enter it on the right frame, this will happen. I think this is the right frame. But uh, you walk towards the boss. Tornado. Dash slash done. You don't even need to dash slash, you can just overdrive tornado and uh, but what happens if we're too late? Like it's still frame dependent, so I might still get a good pattern, but I don't know. We got the good pattern, okay. Like, I kinda wanna show what happens when when you don't get the good pattern. But if I keep getting a good pattern then I'll just tell you and move on. Yeah, okay, so um, if you get the bad pattern, um, he'll uh, start hovering up and not come out of his shell. And um, it just loses you like a couple seconds. It's not the end of the world though, just be ready and don't release the tornado as soon as the shell starts moving up. Do pay a little attention to, um, to it, otherwise you might lose some weapon energy, which might be kind of important. But again, if you waste one tornado, it's not the end of the world. Okay, this next section is really cool too, so I'm gonna show you some strats for it. Okay, first let's try some, some easy strats. Uh, just an air dash jump down, release the dash halfway through, and do a slash, so you hit that guy. Then as soon as you land, you can do another air dash. Uh, okay, wait, let's... Let's... I'm gonna try... I, it's been very long since I've tried a simplified setup for this stage, so I apologize if it's a bit uh, choppy here. Damage boost off this guy so you can get through there unscathed. And here um, you can either do this or uh, you can you can just use ladder if you don't, don't feel like doing doing the doing because yeah okay okay that was kind of not what I wanted to do but let's I'll, I'll just want to show you the rest of the rest of the room so I usually wall buffer and then do an air dash up. Uh, except on uh, yeah, except on this one, because it's such a small surface, uh, I just do one wall buffer and then a full wall jump, so I hold down B there on that small switch. Here I damage boost off that guy so I can get ahead of those bullets. Grab the refill, and usually you can just dash up and maybe hover a little to get those. Um, and if it's this far out, you can also transform to ZX around here, which might give you a full charge shot for the boss. Okay, but now let's see if I can do my own strats here. Okay, wait. Come on. Okay. So the, the idea here is that it's not a corner clip, uh, which I think is one of the coolest specs in the 
but never mind. It's 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 really cool. It's, it's, it's you have to like uh, because you have a longer hitbox as you air dash uh, and a more vertical one. Like you have a, a longer horizontal air dash, and then when you come out of it, you're longer vertically, so that puts you around the corner, allowing you to do a wall jump and therefore another air dash, which is pretty pretty amazing. And there's a lot of spots like this one as well. It sets you up perfectly if you let's see if we can show this. Yeah, that was it. It's so cool. Like that stuff like that really makes my day. Like that's really what keeps me coming back to this game. All the small little tech. Okay, so up for the next boss. This is Purple, which is basically Spark Man without the electricity. Now what you do is charge shot, bump into him while you stash. Do move a little forward, otherwise you'll be hitting the sand, which causes a lot of hit lag. So let's let's look at that. Look at that hit lag, and I'm not even killing the boss. So move a little forward inside of Purple as your oh oh no. was that a frame perfect input? Was that? It shouldn't be too hard, but if you feel like you're too far on the left of the boss, just move right. <laughs> oh my god, the hit lag on that final slash. That was, that, was, that, was, that was some mean gold right there. I love this game. I love this game. It's such... So right with mean potential. Okay, getting on level 2, level 3, level 1, it doesn't matter too much. You only need a combined level of 3 weapon energy, so even getting a level 2 kill on this boss is fine. And even then, you don't need it, need it. It just makes one boss, uh, one mid boss that's coming up in two stages. Uh, it just makes him faster. And so if you play your cards right, you can two shot him, whether uh, as. Yeah, otherwise, you just lose a ton of frames. And possibly like like a couple seconds for sure. And you don't have to worry about selecting missions uh, or starting around the um, like leg anchor. The, the area J mission is the, the last mission you actually have to choose between other missions. So that's about the uh, the part where your Japanese reading skills uh, don't even matter anymore. So do a jump there. And uh, okay, wait. Let me try it again. So I do a jump here, then just dash up here, then do a full dash jump here to make it. Um, not super tight, but you might end up missing it like that. So in case, like, if you have the reaction time for it and you miss it, you can also grab the ladder. So that might be something to keep in mind. Okay, then hit. <laughs> okay, somebody doesn't have that reaction time though, and that somebody is me. Okay, so here you wanna walk fine then get here and if you do it right you can get hit by oh yeah i got it i messed it up but i got i got hit hit forward um this is also um another spot where you can do a double frame perfect but it's much harder i do get it some of the time but it's, it's oh okay let's let's look at this area again oh. yeah i got hit forward again that's cool so here this oh. death for that metal. And I'm gonna kill his brother too. Okay. Okay. Anyways, no, no frame for breaks there. But uh, you can either get hit here by that guy, or you can. I, I'm trying to explain something here. Thank you. Okay, wait. You can also do this. And then jump over. And here, I really recommend getting grabbed by this thing. No. Um. Here, if you're moving, you can jump, shoot, slash. That's what I recommend doing there, because uh, otherwise uh, you'd have to do this. Like you have to set up your bullets, but it's easy because they, these guys only take one bullet. So here, after this part, I fire one bullet there, and not on the exact height of that guy apparently. One more time. Okay, so now we're good. A little low on health, but it would, shouldn't matter for this next strategy. Okay, this is area L. This also used to be my least favorite area, but it's the exit's pretty fun. Um, so what matters here is where you release your charge shots. So I'm gonna show the area first and then I'm gonna talk about it. So I dash on top of these, then as close to those cannons, uh, I shoot, and then over here. Oh, definitely intended damage boost there. Okay, let's let's do that again. 
Nice spacing, bro. So you, you take on this extra can, which really helps. And releasing it here kills these two big blocks if you don't. If you release it earlier than that, um, well, I'll, I'll just show you. That's a no-no. So let's see if I release it here. That was way too early, but let's 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 say we release it around here. Oh, that was still still slow. Let me let me try again. That was still way too early. Okay. Like, there's an alternative thing that can happen. Yeah, that. Y you could do that. Anyways, okay, let's let's move on to the rest of the stage. I'm, I'm not getting the thing I'm usually getting, so... I kind of wanted to show you uh, as much scenarios as possible so you don't run into too much uh, things I need to adapt to. Without. So I shoot relatively early here, so I hit this guy, but not some of this, because then I can do this. Which I think is a really cool way to get past this. There's another thing that can happen here as well. If you do this strat. So let's look at that real quick. Let's kill these guys though. Oh. So that can happen too, and then you can do it like that. That's also really cool. So it's it's pick or choose. Either works great. So here I do a uh, short hop, and if I haven't charged the saver already, I do a jump slash here, start charging the saver. Then I release my charge shot here to stun this guy. So why is it important to hit this guy, you think? Well, because this removes your dash and um, it inverts your movement. If you look at the right side, you can see me moving left button to go right. Anyways, uh, that's one of the things that can happen. Uh, the other one's over here. And uh, I'm charging now. I'm not charging anymore. This, this red one removes your weapons. Oh, and I forgot to save there. Never mind. We'll just do this one again one more time. I really love playing this area. So yeah, that can happen too. So that's just one extra block, but that's not a big deal. That was actually the scenario I wanted to show you earlier. So that's cool. Easy every time. Do -do 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 -do. Wait, should I have saved there? Yeah, I should have saved there. I'm going back. So good. Okay. Let's just let's make save around here. Okay. Full dash here, dash off here, dash charge shot, full dash jump, charge from here. Again, the charge deck will help you there. You have to wait on this platform a little bit. So when you land on it, you wait a little bit then do a jump. Otherwise you'll come up short and this will happen because this guy is an annoying piece of reloading this thing. This is a really, one, uh, really fun stage if you uh, get the momentum down. It becomes really rewarding, especially because it used to kick my ass so much trying to figure out what to do. And then another charge shot there. Like if you keep the where I release a charge shot, it should be really easy for you to mimic these strats. Uh, beware though that um, like oh wait now I'll just show you that. Um, here I keep the charge saver ready as well, and that's because if there are some blocks um, like this, I can just do this. But something that can happen though is this. Oh, and I, I failed to demonstrate it. Yeah, you can get crushed by those blocks if you... Especially by the, th the, the ones that are in the first area that are stacked three on top of each, three on top of each other. Um, so yeah, don't, 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 don't. Like, there are some really aggressive strats for that, but uh, I wouldn't recommend them. So um, even though I didn't explain that room, I hope seeing it will be be good enough. I kind of kind of got focused there. This is another relatively easy. These rooms, I get the feeling that are really straightforward, but maybe I'm um, like if you need extra help, 
feel free to contact me. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll be more than willing to make a video for you for any specific thing for these games. Down here, a recharge out here, dash down here, and another full dash down here. It's, it's, it's really... it feels really good. Like, I probably should have explained that a little better, but... Just watch that a couple of times, mimic it, and you're, you're, you're going. So, get up onto the middle row, release the charge shot, dash into him, rolling slash. Done. Like I said before, like, bosses are gonna be the least of your problems. Uh, maybe I should turn around near the end there. Let me try that real quick. Eh. So this will always be a level 1. And that's perfectly okay. You can see those uh, circular things in the background. That's actually based on a boss from Mega Man Zero One, which I think is a really cool Easter egg. There's also uh, three more Mega Man Zero bosses hidden in the backgrounds of this game. Uh, try to find them all. It's really, it's pretty cool. If you've played Mega Man Zero One through uh, three at least. There's also a Mega Man Zero 4 reference boss, but it's kind of all over the place, so it's really hard to spot. Okay, so that was the final mission. Um, uh, that was the final mission of uh, the eight big bosses. So we're gonna we're going into the end game, even though I kind of already consider the, that last stage to be part of the end game, especially the normal used to be pretty hard. Um, but. Yeah, the real end game is only like three missions, which we'll be starting now. And I think part of that is because this game has such a very long uh, opening sequence. Um, so back to area A it is. And now we have Model X, so we can farm some extra uh, weapon energy. Let's see if we actually need it though. No, we don't. We even have enough and model energy, uh, energy for Model P. But let's pretend we don't, so I'll just show you some, uh, some of these strats. By this point, you'll be familiar enough with the control for me to not have to explain this this stuff. And I think you'll be able to copy my movement. If you don't, like, don't, don't, like, there, there's, there are other things you can do. This is, you don't have to do things exactly the way I do them. Too, like, oh, I do that, like this too. That's, that's, that's some pro strats right there. So here you can, okay, this might be, might be a little interesting to do. Like, you can either do a damage boost of that, this guy. Ah! Stop it. Right, let's, let's, let's see how do I do this. Not like that. Go back to your place, you. But, the one technique we haven't even seen or talked about in this game that ZX has, it has a Skull Crusher. This ability is called the Skull Crusher. Most people in the speedrun community have referred to it as the Extended Saver. But um, the official term is Skull Crusher. Um, can be seen as EXA. And this is basically the only use for it. I think you can even do this with a regular slash though. Yeah, you don't even need it, but it's much more free if you... Uh, God, I love spending 15 minutes explaining something completely useless. Okay, so here on this corner, use a jump slash to get that guy, and then... Oh, wait, wait, I don't wanna... Jump slash for that guy, skull crush for this guy, shot for those guys. It's really easy. Corner clip, corner jump, wall buff for dash jump, some more wall buffing, and now we get to an interesting part. I guess, kinda. Let's see how, how this goes. Okay, so there's a really cool cutscene here, which uh, I'm gonna skip because I'll play the game. Also, this, this game is entirely voiced in the Japanese version. I think there's some mods for it, so you can play it in English with the fully Japanese uh, dialogue as well uh, for the PC version. But if you're on Switch or whatever, you can just play the Japanese version and you'll actually get a fully anime-like uh, storyline. Um, okay, so the important part is there's going to be a mid-boss coming up. And it matters much like the metal on which frame you enter the boss. So I'm going to show you two different things that you can do. You can either do this. Oh, I think I got hit there. 
So, we can do that. getting there okay wait for it I'll just I'll just oh my god what like I probably shouldn't have saved this save okay so okay well, let's just pretend he doesn't fly away so I can just show you oh my god this is such a mess like okay so pretend it didn't fly away and it like it just Oh my god, I can't even show it like this. Okay, doesn't matter. The idea is it dies from two of these shurikens. If you do it just right. So this is the faster kill if you get the good RNG, which I kind of messed up. There's probably a good backup way to do that, but I'm, I'm, I'm missing it right now. Oh my god! I missed it out. So it, has, it is very specific still. So you have to be close enough and you have to get the full shuriken to hit. And that's infinitely faster because it causes much less hit lag. And um, But it's, it's specific. And I get the feeling that if you um, change the model P because it's only one cycle in this wheel, there's a bigger chance for this eagle to cooperate, but he didn't this time. So maybe I'm just... Maybe it's just uh, imaginary things. This section is also a little, a uh, little easier uh, for Model P, in my opinion, than it is for Model H. But I'll go over it with Model H as well, so you can see the difference. Oh. and here we will transform to Model H. There we go. Oh, oh. Okay, so say we beat the mid boss with Model H because we didn't have energy for. Um, oh, for Model. Let's do that again. That, that's not so what I usually do anyway. We can make this good, right? That's pretty cool. Um, so Model P allows you to farm for a bit of weapon energy if you need it. And another advantage to like so there there are a couple of advantages to having Malfi here and that's here as well. You don't hover um, oh, from going down ladders, but it does cost an extra transformation, and that was very very clearly spaced out. Okay, you know what? Never mind. One more time. Okay, that was oh oh that's actually okay. Never mind. Okay, let's save this time so I don't have to do that again. I think you get the point. Okay. Whoa! Oh, that was actually some excellent spacing, but that's not, that's not, you know what? Let's, let's look at this area again. I should have safe stated. I'm sorry about this. Like, it's just me playing the game and trying to... So, you just hold forward, take a danger from there so you can get through there for, for free. There, there's here. So this 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 one this guy is a little tight to get over. Uh, I recommend doing this instead. Then here this is this is pretty interesting. Let's let's deload this. So what you want to do here, dude? Okay, hold on. 
even though this matters way more on normal mode, what I'm about to show you. Um, there's a way to skip the water cycle so you don't have to transform to a model a, a L. And it's done by jumping there. It will set you up. If you do the movement just right, to take damage from that bullet and boost forward, and then uh, you can get to fast, you can get to that corner, so this corner, as um, as model H without ever having to transform into model L underwater. But here you can just damage boost up the spikes and you'll be fine. Let's see if we can do this one. Oh, I did it! Oh, that's such a good corner boost. Cool. You can actually do another air dash there and actually gain some more time. Yeah. It's just so cool. It's just so cool. I just discovered that like yesterday that you can uh, kill that guy and actually have some gains from it. You know, you actually gains. So here we have Pandora. You can hit her at the start if you want. You can also just walk up here, press A, release tornado, and uh, that's the that, that's the battle. Like that's if that's what you want to do. Like you can do that. You can also do this. Uh, you can also completely miss the boss, by the way. Yeah. But in all cases, it's it's like. What if? But what if you don't have any energy for model? Um, I shouldn't have safe stated only here. Uh, you could have done a charge shot there, uh, and then basically do something like that. Like that's 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 worst case scenario if you ever run out of. Uh, if you ever run out of um, HX energy, you can actually finish her off with an overdrive jump slash or jump dash slash. Air dash slash, I mean, uh, a little faster than the tornado. Watching play, watching the tornado play out, but that's again, you don't need to go for that right off the bat. It's just something you can add in once you get used to it. I'm gonna see if I can get this free energy to show here. Nope. Okay. Well, there is actually a way to get a large energy refill from the very first enemy. But if you're ever short, again, there's this crystal. So yeah. But uh, if you do a uh, dash jump the moment the room loads, or the moment you gain control, and then uh, a full dash and then a hop and a slash, you're very likely to get a large energy container there. And I've only discovered that um, a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so we're on to the uh, next to last final stage. Area O. Uh, this is fairly some. Uh, this is this is mainly memorizing it uh, enemy locations. So I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you the stage a little bit. Because there's not a whole lot I can advise you here on, except that learning where the enemies are and spacing out your air dashes just right, uh, so you don't bump into anything. And once you clear that enemy, it's basically it's free. Like you're done here. And we get a revisit from the Area X mini boss. So what I recommend here is doing a Sonic Boom and then doing Overdrive Sonic Boom on that one. And that's basically this entire mid boss. You can also do one Sonic Boom and then a couple of jump slashes if on the on the right side containers. If that's what you that feels more comfortable. Really. Um, something that might happen if you're too enthusiastic uh, playing, you might end up doing this because you, you like, you, you, yeah, you, you're just ah, why am I, why am I not doing the combo? It's because you're pressing too aggressively, and do know that it, the hit lag from enemies might need you to pace out the the second press or the third press a little more. So be aware of that. Uh, so you don't uh, look like an idiot like I usually do when I, or like I usually feel when I'm doing that. This again is a space one. Jump air dash from here and then jump air dash again from here. It'll set you up to do this jump really well, or at least decently. And you can kill this guy or you can just jump over him. Now here, this next part, this next part is actually, actually I, I need to need to spend some. Uh, so. These spawn at different times, and that's very prone to happen. Um, on easy, it's not a big deal. You have to, the key is delaying your third jump slash, so it's very, very, it's very soon. So immediate, immediate, late. 
or later at least. Here you can do two things. You can either pause here to do another dash jump, but you know, let's see if I remember right. You can also just dash over or something. Now this is the only heavy RNG boss in the entire game. So you're oh, you're delivered to his mercy, our god Tentaclinia, which uh, can give you either good or bad patterns. And this is one of the bad patterns. It's like the fishes from the first form. Um, and uh, we are fortunate to be blessed with the worst possible scenario, so that's cool. Okay, so this is much like the same in Area J, which I kind of messed up, but the, the reaction is the same. This, however, is a little harder. The yellow one's a little harder, but if you do it right, you can at least try to get in some extra damage. Okay, let's let's try this again, because this was absolutely... I shouldn't have saved my state there, though. Maybe I can change RNG like this. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so that's the ideal kill. Okay, well that's good to know. So when he does the like the little S-shaped form he does here, stand in inside him just like that. That This hit barely doesn't hit him, so this hit will and then it's just... That's actually the first time I've seen this boss uh, one cycled. I think. I think that was a one cycle, right? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. And here you can also... That... You can also dash dash off and do a jump slash to hit that one. Okay, that was, that was too eager. Eh, let's try this again, let's try this again. I wonder if that quick kill works on normal. Like that, if you can one cycle it on normal, that would be that would be amazing. Kinda need to research that now. This is what I usually do, because uh, at least it doesn't get you hit. That does a large portion of damage. And that'll, like, if he gives you the red tentacle, it's basically guaranteed to cycle, unless you mess that tentacle up. Hope that's enough coverage for this boss. If not, just just let me know. So I start, usually start charging here, um, especially because I have the energy spare. Kill that guy with an orb. And then we're on to um, Prometheus and Pandora, which is going to be a very riveting boss fight. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, I kind of want to show you that you can still kill him with a... Probably could have killed him a little earlier, but whatever. The, again, the tornado is enough to absolutely murder him. In like the very first speedruns that I did on normal, I used to use two tornadoes, but it's, it's like one tornado and two air dash slashes on normal is enough. And now we're down to the final stage. Um, this is the stage I, I, I ironically couldn't find, even though like it's very obviously hinted at in the, in the story where you need to go. And I, I, I completely missed this. Like I could find everything else okay. I, I hear a lot of people have trouble finding places in this game, and I did not. But this, for some reason, this is the place I had the most trouble to find, which is it really took me quite a long time. So here's another energy crystal you can get. You can kill these guys. You can also change them all Zex uh, if you want here already. Uh, and, and basically shoot some guys for some more weapon energy. Do we need it? Eh, not really. We'll get it. And this is um, like I think like I love the music here, so I don't mind the other scrolling sections uh, as much. Plus, it gives you a really good opportunity to farm for uh, weapon energy. But this is arguably the most boring final stage. Um, in maybe the entire Zero ZF series, but uh, only in terms of stage design. Like, there's only one good portion, and it's like right before the final wall, so that's the only part I consider like real final stage material. Um, but still, like, I'm not complaining. Like, I love this game. I think this is the this is my favorite Mega Man game and my favorite game all time. So, like, I I don't even mind. Oh, this is this is this is this is awful. High volt. I don't want to hear your revolutionary ideas. Yeah, that's that's like that's what you want. And if he does fly up, just kill him with a charge attack. I hope. Or you can. Uh, oh, maybe I, I haven't really touched on how the combos work in this game, have I? Um, okay, so I can I can kind of demonstrate it on this boss as well. 
<laughs> it's a little late into your run to talk about combos, but uh, I'm gonna shoot. Okay, so the rule is shot, jump, jump slash, running slash, triple slash. That's the combo. What's also a combo, uh, finisher, oh wait, no, no you don't, is, uh, let's, let's wait for it. So any form of shot is a good opener, uh, and the charge slash is a combo ender. Um, so what you can also do is jumps, rolling slash, running slash, triple slash. Oh, is that actually... Um, okay, I'm gonna try something else. You can actually... Uh, buffer, a jump slash into the rolling slash. A jump slash? Wait, I'm still being too fast here. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Was well, that it? I, I don't even know. Like, I can't even see this anymore. So, um, but anyway, like, if you're fast enough, you can buffer uh, a jump slash into the rolling slash. But in all cases, it's almost always easier to just go with a, um, a straight up rolling slash and just hold up. And, um, yeah, that covers these bosses basically. The boss is a shot, a rolling slash, and on um, Hurricane is possibly a. Um, a, uh, uh, a slash afterward or a double slash afterward, depending on how uh, good or bad your rolling slash is. It's nice, it's nice to have some relaxed time in between. Um, but Zach's advance uh, final stage is a much, much better final stage, in my opinion. Even though it's also relatively short, the platforming sections that is. Okay, here's another um, quick kill that's unique to this stage. Um, like it's a, it's a little different from the other quick kill. So let's see if I can just show you. Oh, that's that's the annoying part. I always. That's it. So the important part is to shoot real fast with the Y button, the first two shots, and the second shot hold it. If you don't, uh, you end up just coming up short in time to charge uh, for the, the quick kill. But it's it's it's, it's relatively free. Um, and uh, the the difference is from the original fight is that she stays up much longer, so you don't have to worry about her shots cocking you in the middle of your action. So that's pretty fun. This fight is identical, so I'm not I'm not. So I'm just gonna do something different because why the hell not? Uh, I messed it up. Oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter. You've already seen this boss. This is arguably the easiest and dumbest boss in the entire game. Okay. So here we switch to Model H. So we can just skip over a bunch of these guys. I think he could farm here with um, uh, a little bit. Oh, I got that corner. That's so cool. I came up with it yesterday as well. I think maybe maybe it is in the, in the in one of the tool assists, and I just copied it from there and not knowing it. But I think it's cool. It's, it would be especially cool if you could chain uh, those wall punches, because I think you can chain three uh, or four up there. And if you could, that'd be really awesome. Like I should really probably train that sometime because. That's really cool, but it requires some very tight wall jumps. Like you can't do full wall jumps to do that. Optimally. Not really sure why I'm killing these enemies, um, but why not, right? Uh, these bosses are also uh, identical to the strategies I showed you earlier, except that you won't be uh, able to charge up a weapon beforehand. So. Um, like again, like it follows the exact same rules. So if you time your attacks a little too late, or a little differently, um, you'll jump and you'll lose time. And uh, that that's 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 it. Like it's really it's really nice and comfy when this. It's very nice and comfy. You don't have to. Uh, can you just relax? This final stage is very soothing. Like especially this portion. So you can change back to ZX or ZX here. Um, 
Uh, but you can also stay in it. Um, like it, it, it depends what you want to do. Um, you don't have to kill anything at this point, so you don't have to worry about losing things or something. You can just dodge everything. You don't even need to dash and dodge. It might, might, might need to dodge something here. Oh, yeah, definitely need to dodge that. You can actually walk in between those things, but eh. Um, and the reason why you wouldn't want to change this X right away is because you can do this. Uh, which you would otherwise have to do a wall, wall cancel or anything, but yeah, I don't know. So this boss follows pretty much the same rules as well, but there's a different thing you can do here. Oh, I almost had it. I almost had it. I'm, I'm so want to show this because I... Oh, I'm Okay, so it's easier to just take damage here. Oh. So this is what I recommend for this boss. Um, yeah, and Protectus is pretty much identical as well. Um, do note that on um, purple, a frame perfect input at the start of the fight changed a little bit, I think. But the solution to... Oh my god. So that's not frame imperfect. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't matter on easy mode. You don't even have to do that to get that pattern. Cool. So maybe the frame perfect gets a send? Hmm. I don't know. I usually don't mess this up, so for less sake anyways. So I do a short hop and shoot to get one extra hit in. Doesn't matter too much, but all the small bits help. You can also just bump into them and do a rolling slash. It's, it only saves a little bit of time at best. So and now we're already on to the final section of the game. Okay, so here, I'm gonna shoot this guy and then damage boost off the far right of that thing and then jump through that one. Vance can do this, a can do this as well, but it's, it's a little tighter because it doesn't get as much damage. So, do I need to explain this section again? I don't think so. Okay, final boss time. Serpent. One. What I do is this. That's ideal. That's that's ideal. I forgot to recharge the charge shot. Yeah, so you want to kill him before he slides, but... Uh, it's it's kind of... Like, every time you hit him, the RNG changes. So... That was a really good fight, too. Oh my god, I love, love easy mode. So you gotta keep pressing Y there, otherwise the rolling slash will end. <laughs> okay, so that's basically the gist of that fight. Um, you could switch to Model H here, but I, I don't really recommend it because it's just super, super, super free. Okay, but let's look at the final boss because here RNG definitely matters and in a way that on the frame which you end the boss decides his next attack. So let's just kill him like this. Let's see how this works. Okay, that was that was the ideal. Like he wanted to do an annoying attack that would cost me a lot of time. But uh so Okay, so I think this might be like walking up to him and doing that might be the solution to fighting this boss. And if it is, uh, I, I, I didn't even realize that. Okay, it might be. Like, was that the solution all this time? Yeah, it was. Okay. So you walk up to here, to the middle, 
and do a rolling slash. Uh, keep pressing Y so you do get the fruit bar. Then you do an overdrive tornado, and uh, here you wait for the face to open, then do the tornado, and then don't do it too. Oh, you can actually hit him during this phase with that? Oh, psh, psh. he's busy, man. Holy. Okay, so this is. Uh, This is the final boss on easy, so it's, it's very, very, very relaxing. You don't have to try too hard here. And be sure to keep pressing start here, by the way. I can't uh, stress it enough because the in-game timer doesn't end until you on this screen. Okay, so and that's that's basically your ticket there. And we're not sure if the ZZX collections in-game timer is accurate yet. It should be, but I, I get the feeling it runs a little fast, so, uh, or slow, I don't know, like, I feel like there's some inaccuracy, but there might not be. Um, anyways, uh, because, uh, no, no, actually that's, that's, that's fine for this, um, so let's go over the file, some root, di root divergence, I'm gonna play through this a little bit faster. So what happens if you choose, um, uh, choose to go to area uh, to, to, to the fishy boss. I'll show you the, the because it's very very minor differences so I can just play through the stages uh, without saving or loading and it should be fine. I hope I've uh, been able to give you guys some complete information on things to do and things you can do and things you maybe shouldn't do um, I'm sorry if mm, some of the strats were too uh, advanced. Um, also, be sure not to squeeze your controller too hard. I've been reading. Uh, oh wait, no, I'm gonna do this now. Uh, I've been reading people getting hand cramps, and uh, I I've been playing these games for like like I've been playing ZX or speedrunning ZX for 13 years, and I never get cramps unless I'm meshing FX. Uh, on the on the final boss of Advent, and only then because it's very intense mesh. Uh, so yeah, let's take care of yourself. You know, just relax, or put something warm on it, or take breaks if you're doing that. Give me some, give me some dead. Yeah, give me some dead. I don't even need to kill that guy, but I knew he was going to get me something good. You can actually jump off of this if you're right. Uh, I'm not sure. It. Okay, never mind. But you can jump out of there. And that's pretty. That saves a little bit of time because you're not underwater. So being underwater in any model other than O or L uh, gives you a um, like a reduction of 10% movement speed, if I remember correctly. So you're moving at zero point no point. Oh my god, I'm so terrible at this. 0 0.9 times uh, the... the uh, wait, what am I doing again? Oh yeah. Um, wait, am I doing... Oh, I get confused between normal and easy mode stress, but whatever. Like, I, 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 I'm really focused on normal mode, so I kind of forget. Still should be way faster than switching to Model H. Okay, so I'm gonna show you uh, up to the point where it's different. So that's only to like. You can make it over that there without taking damage, but it's just. Give me some. Can I make it without that energy? Yeah, sure. I'll make a safe state. It, it will be fine. It will be. Okay, so this is um, like you can see my entire FX gauge is drained. 
So this is why it's a little harder to do this route, but still, it's really... Uh, so um, the other thing is like we go to Hurricane after this, and the reason for it is that we're, we have to do less transformations. And transformations, from what I remember other people writing about, take 120 frames, approximately. So you lose two seconds every time you transform. Uh, another thing is, this is also kind of important, um, like the moving platforms will be in another spot, depending on your route order. So uh, I think it's based on in-game timer. So like you'll see that this platform, this guy over here, it's lined perfectly up for this, whereas um, on the other route, it's actually up here, like in this state, so it wouldn't uh, pan out. Oh, that was really nice. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so happy I found that. You can also, on normal mode, you use this bullet damage boost, by the way. So there's one more difference that's coming up. And after that, I'm done with this video, and I think I think we're good. I think you'll be good to, for a very long time with easy mode at the very least. And for normal mode, other people already have made excellent compilations. Ekisoad has uh, on his channel um, amazing uh, compilation of videos from both himself as other as well as other people from the Mega Man Zax community. Um, so any any strats basically already covered there, and I think. Dragon, or I hope it, uh, I'm saying the, I'm referring right, but anyways, there's a theory test for normal mode, which is also amazing to watch. I go back to watch those videos. Oh, there it was. Um, thank you. Okay, th never mind that fight. Um, yeah, I go back to watch those videos every now and then so I can brush up on my skills. And it's very interesting to watch other people play this game as well regardless of their skill level like even though this game doesn't have as many layers as super metroid in terms of uh, skill defining gameplay i think that's actually part of its charm and part of its appeal uh, it's, it's, it's very easy to run uh, very easy to learn speedrun and oh okay the important part here is like you can see there i still have two weapon energy left which is Good thing that I don't have less because that's exactly what we need for this route. So there's one final trick coming up, and after that, I, well, I'm really done. I'm getting kind of horse too, so horse, horse, whatever. So instead of changing or using the elevator, um, Alex actually has an advantage here, and you do a full dash jump, another full dash jump, then release, and that's it. You basically uh, you skip the elevator. And I transform here because it gives me a bit of bigger window to hit the wall, uh, but also because this is faster than this, I think. It's, yeah, I don't know, it feels faster. It might not be. So, um, yeah, I know this is a really long video. I'm gonna try and put some timestamps in there for uh, at least for the different stage segments. And, um,. Yeah, I hope it was uh, educational or uh, for you. Uh, I hope you have something. Uh, I hope it provides you with some tools to learn the game. And um, if not, uh, like if there's anything missing or anything you need, uh, the Discord for uh, Mega Man ZX is on the Mega Man RTA leaderboards in the resources uh, header. Um, and there's always people, uh, including myself, there willing to help you out. So thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.